Well, hello again, everyone. Professor Prophet coming to you from Craps University. And we have an interesting crap strategy for you this evening. This one is called the ping pong strategy. Now, this does require a $1,500 buy-in. And this has uh, a lot of the characteristics that I like in a strategy. It has a dark side component, a light side component, and then we regress down and protect our profits. And I think uh, those three characteristics give us the best chance of walking away from the table a winner. Now, this is not one of Wayland's uh, strategies, but this was inspired by one of Wayland's strategies uh, that he posted oh, a week or so ago, and uh, I've changed it up a little bit. Uh, and uh, this is what we're going to end up with. And so this is a, wor a work in progress, if you will. So we're going to go down to the uh, felt right now. We'll explain exactly how we bet it, exactly what the progression is, and then we'll roll the bones for a few minutes and see if this is a casino ready strategy or if it's one that still needs a little more tweaking. So let's head on down to the felt now and take a peek. See you down there shortly. All right, everybody down here on the felt getting ready to roll out our ping pong strategy. Now this is a $1,500 buy-in. We've got uh, 1,400 in the uh, green. Uh, 80 in the red and 20 in the white 1500 now how this is work how this works after a number is established say it's the eight we'll put a fifty dollar don't come bet out we don't have a don't come uh, uh, area on our play field so we'll put it on the the come line there and that'll signify a don't come bet in addition we'll lay the four for a hundred that'll be for one roll and then we'll roll the dice say it's a nine then of course the DC would go to the nine. And then we would come out with 54 across, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then two, of course, on the 6 and the 8, we'll bring it to 54. And then a $10 DC bet. And then we'll roll it again, and let's say it's the 8. Then the DC will go to the 8. By the way, this comes down after the first, after the first roll. Uh, it's a one roll only. So that would go to the 8. Uh, we would pay 15 on that. And we take 10 of that and put another DC bet up. And say so this time it's the 6. So it would go to the 6. And then the 6 would come down and pay 14. And since we have three dark side bets up now, the 6, the 8, and the 9, we'll take all the light side bets down and we'll ping pong over to strictly the dark side. And then what we're hoping for is big red, and we'll collect on all three of those bets. Now, if it works out that way, wonderful. If it doesn't, well, then we and we lose money on a shooter. We will ladder up, uh, and then if we win, we will ladder back down. So that is how the ping pong strategy works. So let's go ahead and get a number established, and we'll get this uh, thing rolling. There's a 538 easy. So now we come out with the DC bet. Again, no, don't come on the board. So we'll put it on the line for the DC. And then a $100 lay bet on the four. So there's a yo 11, so we lose that anyway. So uh, let's ladder up to 75 now. And we'll go 150 on the, on the lay bet. And we're rolling again. This time it's the eight, the five, three, eight. And so that'll go to the eight. The puck will come down. We'll pull our, our uh, lay bet down. So now we'll come back with uh, 15 on the four, the five, the six, the nine, and the 10. And then, of course, we'll put three more on the six. We've got 18. So let's get some more change here. So one, two, three, four, five. Five more is 50. So there's that. So let's rack that up. We'll put 15 on the DC. And I think we are ready to roll. Everything is working. Come out, roll. And that's a 6, 4, 10. 10 easy. So the puck will go to the 10. The DC will go to the 10, and this one will pay $27, so we'll do 30 for 3. Oh, 
and we are ready to go again. Let's rack this up. Put another uh, DC bed out for 15, and we're rolling. Here we go. And that's Yo, so we do lose our DC bet, so we'll just replace that with another 15. And that's the 516, so that's a $21 payout. So we'll do that, and now we have three dark side bets established, the 6, the 8, and the 10. So we'll take everything down on the light side and ping pong over to nothing but dark side bets here. And what we're looking for now is big red. That's what we want to see. And let's roll it out. So there's a 6-3 center field 9. And there's the 4-3-7 out. So we get paid uh, 15 there, 15 there, and then 75 on the 8. So that's a nice one for us. And that ought to put us up for a good start. Let's pull that down and we'll rack all this up. And we're coming out. New shooter. 538's the number. So we'll go back down to our base level. That's 50 on the DC and 100 lay on the 4. And the number is 8. So that'll go to the 8. Puck will come down. The lay bet will come down. And so let's go with our 52 across this time. And let's use these over here. 10, 20. 30, 40, 50, and we'll put the two on the six, put a $10 don't come bet, and uh, we are working, this is a come out roll, but everything is working, that needs to go to the don't pass, and we're rolling, and that's a yo 11, so we do lose that, and let's put another one out, next roll, and 12, so there's nothing on that one. That's a push. And this time it's the uh, 8 hard. So uh, the puck will go to the 8, and we do lose that $50. So that one stings. And let's see, we're all set up. Let's put another DC bet out. And we're rolling. And there's the 7 out. So we lose all of this. This is a disastrous shooter for us. We do win uh, 10 back, but all that goes away. And so now we're going to have to ladder back up on this next shooter. So let's get a number established, and we'll do just that. So this time it's the 6-3 center field 9, so we'll go with 75. And 150 lay on the 4, and we're rolling. And there's the sunflowers, the 10 hard, so this will go to the 10. We'll pull the 4 down, and we'll put uh, 15 on the 4, 5, 6, be 18, 18 there, 15 on the 9. Let's grab some uh, $1 chips, and then $15 DC, and we're ready to go. Here we go. And there's the hard six, so that'll go to the six. And that is a $21 payout. So we'll pay that off. And we'll put uh, another $15 DC bet up and roll them again. Here we go. And there's the seven out. So uh, we're going to lose all of this. But we went 15 and back, 15 back there, and then 75 here. There's 25.50, so we're actually going to come out a little ahead on this shooter. So we can go back down to our base level at this point. So let's rack all of this up. And on to the next shooter. Coming out. 
Okay, there's the 2 by 4 so the puck will go to the 6. We do 50 on the DC. 100 on the lay 4, and we are rolling. And there are the sunflowers again, the 10 hard, so that'll go to the 10. The 4 will come back down, and once again we'll do 54 across. That's 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. And then uh, two more there, two more there, and a $10 don't come bit. And that's a 12 railroad track, so that's a push on the DC. And there's the 7 out. So we lose uh, 64, but we win 50. So that's not too bad. So that's a $14 loss overall. So even though that is a little bit of a loss, I don't think that's enough to warrant uh, going up another level. We'll try to keep the variance down a little bit, volatility. And let's rack this up. And rack this up. And new shooter. And the number's four, three, one, four. So that's 50 on the DC, 100 on the lay four. And the DC will go to the 9, and we'll bring down the 4. And the 4 gives us protection on the DC is the reason we keep doing that. So let's do uh, 54 across again. And put our $10 DC bet out. And we're rolling. Here we go. <laughs> wow, there's another 7. So that's another uh, $64 we lose, but we win 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And that's a $14 loss there. So you could go either way. You could ladder up here or just stay where you are. Let's just stay where we are. One more shooter if we lose anything on this one. Then we'll go ahead and ladder up. On the next one, come out rolls a 325. So 50 there, 100 lay to protect our don't come bet. And we're rolling. And there's the 437. So we lose that uh, 50, but we win 50 on the DC or on the lay, lay four. And that's the reason we do that. And so we'll bring that down and we'll just start over as a break even. So this time it's the uh, double tray, so six hard. And we'll do just what we did. Lay that four in a DC bit. This time it's the uh, Colt 45, so that'll go to the nine. We'll pull this down and we'll go to the light side here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And let's get a little more change. So there's $50. Okay, then we're going to have a $10 DC bet, and then we'll put the hats on the 6 and the 8, and we'll be ready to go. So trying to avoid a 9 here, and we're rolling. And there's the uh, 6, 2, 8, 8 easy, so that goes to the 8. That'll pay 14. So there's 4 of it, and there's the rest of it. So let's rack all this up. And we'll go with that next uh, DC bet now. We'll try to get that third one established. And there's the seven out. So uh, another short shooter, but not quite as short as the last two. So I think we'll probably end up making a little or we lose all of this. And we win 10 there. And we win 50 here. One, two, three, four, five. And that's 15, so we actually won just a little bit on that one, so we'll stay at the same level and go on to the next shooter. And uh, sooner or later, we're going to get a, another big hit here, another good shooter, and then maybe we can make some serious money. So new shooter, and we're coming out. 5, 3, 8, easy. So once again, we'll come out with uh, 50 on the DC. 100 on the 100 lay on the four for one roll and the roll once again is the nine five four nine we'll take that down 
and we'll come out with 54 across. Put the DC bed up, and we're rolling. Here we go. And there's that point seven out again, just about uh, coming pretty consistent. So we do lose uh, 14, and this 50 will go right here. That's another $14 loss. So let's uh, let's ladder up this time. Uh, so another small loss, but the small losses are adding up a little bit. So we'll go up to 75 on this on this next shooter, and see if we can uh, chase those losses a little bit. So the come out's the horse and buggy, the 415. So that's 75 on the DC. And 150 lay on the four. Here we go. Oh, there's the four. And that's the chance you take every now and then you get stung. So let's just replace that. Bring that up to 200 now. Actually, we'll leave that there because that goes to the four. Let's put that back up. And so we'll go 15 on the five, 18 on the six, 18 on the eight, 15 on the nine, and the 10. And see if we can make some of this money up in a $15 DC. All right, and we're rolling. Here we go. Oop. Off the board. So let's do that again. Try to settle down a little bit. And this time it's a nine, so that'll go to the nine. That'll pay 21. So we'll rack that up. Move that to the DC and roll it again. And this time it goes to the six. This one will play 21 once again. And now we have three dark side bets established. So we'll take everything down on the light side and ping pong over to strictly a dark side system. So let's see if we can get Big Red to show up here. And there's the nine, so we get knocked off of that. So we're down to two numbers now. There's the nine again, trying to avoid the four or the six. Here's the three craps. Yo, 11. And there's a six, two, eight, easy. And there's a seven out. All right. So we went 75 there and 15 there. So that should be a little bit of a win for us. So we'll go back down to our base level and try some more. Well, actually, I tell you what, we lost that uh, 150 on the uh, lay four. So let's stay at 75, get a number established. And that's the six, the uh, 516. So 75 on the DC and 150 on the lay four. And there are the sunflowers. So that'll go to the 10, 10 hard. Pull this down and get some money out here. That's 15, 15, 18, 18, and 15. And then a $15 DC. And we're ready to roll. Here we go. Here's a 628. So that'll go to the 8. And the 8 will pay 21. So let's rack that, and we'll go to another DC bed here, and roll it again. Here we go, and that's uh, all the dots we got, so it's a push on the DC, and there's the 2 by 4 so that'll go to the 6, buck will come down, that'll pay 21. So we'll rack that up, and as you can see, we have three dark side numbers established. So we'll take the light side bets down, 
and let's see if we can uh, get a seven. So everything is working on the come out roll, and that's a nine. So the buck goes to the nine, and we're rolling. And there's uh, box cars, and three, one, four, four easy. And there's the seven out. So that was a good shooter for us. We went 15 there, 15 there, and 75 there. So that's 75 and 30 is $105. So there's 100. And there's five. So let's rack all this up. And now we can go back to our base level. It's, uh, there's 50, so let's do two more green ones. All right, putt comes down, coming out. Here we go. There's the double uh, tray, so that's a six hard. And 50 on the DC, 100 on the lay four. And we're rolling. And there's the square pair, so that goes to the eight. Take our lay bet down. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, two across, and 10 on the DC. And we're rolling. Here we go. And there's the uh, railroad tracks once again. And there's the two by four, the six, so that'll go to the six. Puck will come down, and that'll pay fourteen dollars. So there's that. Let's rack this up and put that on the don't pass. And everything up here is working for the come out roll. Here we go. And there's the seven out. So we lose all of this. We win 10 there, and we win 50 here, 20, 30, 40. So we won a little bit there, not a lot, but a little bit. We'll take it. And we're coming out again. Here we go. There's the snake eyes. And there's three craps, AC Ducey, boxcars, and finally get a number established, the six easy, two by four. So 50 on the DC, 100 on the lay four for one roll. And there's a square pair again, so that'll go to the eight for the lay down. And then we'll go uh, 52 across. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And there's the two. And there's the don't come bet. And we're ready to go. And there's the seven out. All right, so we're going to lose all of that. But this will be the 50 here for that. And so we'll rack that up. And we'll just stay at this level since it was a small $12 loss. And we'll come out with the next shooter. And there's the 5 1 6 easy this time. So 50 on the DC, 100 on the lay four. And we're rolling. And that goes to the five. The, the lay bed will come down. And we'll do the 54 across this time. Two on the six, two on the eight. Don't come bet for ten. And we're rolling. And that'll go to the nine, the five, four, nine. So that'll pay fourteen. So we'll rack the fourteen up. And we'll go ahead and reinvest uh, the ten on the next DC. And we're rolling. And there's the 628, so that'll go to the 8. And that once again will pay 14. We'll do 15 for 1. 
and we have three dark side bits up now so we'll rack all the light side bits and uh, ping pong over to a strictly dark side strategy so here we go looking for a seven and there's the 415 that's the one number we did not want but we got it so there we go and there's the 516 so the puck will come down everything is still working come out roll and there's another six and another six so it'll come back down we are still working on the come out and there's the seven out and so that'll be a twenty dollar win and i think at this point we're going to go ahead and call this a video that'll give you a pretty good idea of how that works we really didn't get anything going too good but i think we still came out uh, a little ahead so uh, let's go ahead and color these up a little bit so that's a hundred right there and we get four green ones and that will give us 1500 in green that was our buy-in so everything else will be profit there's 25 50 75 and 100 it's 105 110 115 118 dollar profit on a 1500 dollar buy-in so uh, nothing spectacular there, but uh, a win is a win. And so you, we're leaving with a few extra dollars in our pocket. And that's always a good feeling when that happens. So that is the ping pong strategy. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I think that one can probably use a little more fine tuning. Um, I don't know what that is off the top of my head right now. But uh, anyway, we'll continue to work on it. and. Uh, if we have some significant improvements, we'll uh, uh, bring this back and try it again. But uh, even uh, with the way it is, we did manage to win $118. So that is how the ping pong strategy is bet and played. So what did we think of that? We did come out a little bit ahead. Um, uh, we never could uh, seem to really get our footing and get any momentum going, but um, at the end of the day, uh, we did come out a little bit ahead. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, I think this is one that we probably are going to need to work on a little more before we take it to the casino, but that gives us kind of a base to work from. So any comments that you have that uh, you can see that might improve this, we would love to hear from you uh, on your thoughts on that particular subject. And uh, also, if you enjoyed the video, we'd ask that you give us the old thumbs up. And that way we know that you're enjoying the content we're presenting to you. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to the Craps University channel, uh, we would ask that you do so now. Uh, man, we'd love to have you part of the student body here at Craps U. Uh, we offer full ride scholarships, so it's going to cost you nothing. Uh, we discuss uh, crap, uh, crap strategies on Sundays. And then we do roulette strategy videos on Wednesdays and Fridays. So uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Now, if you are a subscriber and you're returning, we do appreciate you coming back and watching these strategies that we present to you. Uh, we do value your input. So uh, please leave a comment and let us know what you think of this strategy. Uh, we always appreciate hearing from you. So this is Professor Prophet coming to you from Crabs University. And if you're out there rolling those bones this week, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. And may all your rolls come out winners. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.